What's up, Guns Out Nation? I'm John Keys, and guess what? Today, we bring you the review you've been waiting for, the Staccato CS. Let's go. The Staccato CS, the latest and smallest addition to the current lineup of pistols offered by the Texas manufacturer. It has a shorter barrel than its predecessor, the Staccato C by 0.4 inches, but a slightly larger grip by 0.2 inches. While the gun is even shorter than the P365XL, it handles much more like a full-size pistol than some of the full-size pistols that I've shot. And even while the grip on the CS is narrower than any other current Staccato available, the grip is still a handful if that makes sense. Coming in at under two pounds, even though the compact nature makes you feel otherwise, the gun just feels balanced. It's made for concealed carry. The optic ready version is now standard and of course it comes with Dawson Precision sights. It comes with a new toolless patent pending Dawson Precision recoil system, a new grip texture, a dedicated magazine, and an option for a curved or flat trigger. I have the flat trigger on mine. Man, that thing is smooth, and the travel distance and weight just feels perfect for concealed carry. The gun magic that happens internally on this pistol is only described as patent pending technology. For now, we'll just call it gun magic. All right, guys, so here we are with the brand new Staccato CS. Finally. Finally. <laughs> we have been waiting for a while to get our hands on this thing. Yeah. We got our, the first opportunity to shoot these things at the event Celebrating Heroes. Celebrating, yeah, Heroes. Celebrating Heroes, Heroes, which yeah. we were a part of. Mm -hmm. And I was just blown away. I mean, yeah. to, to have something this small mm -hmm. that's a double stack magazine, 16 rounds. This is a dedicated mag, by the way, newly designed by Staccato just for the CS. So yeah. this will not fit and any other Staccatos and your other Staccato mags will not fit in the CS. But one of the things, John, that I was most impressed by, despite its size, and you and I have shot a lot of small guns, yeah. we usually don't like them nope. because the recoil is so freaking bad. Yeah, snappy. And so when you're trying to increase the speed on your shots, yeah, follow on shots, it's, 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 it's hard. Yeah. It's really, really hard. Mm -hmm. With this thing, I would probably say, and guys, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't shot in a while. We've been really, really busy. And I would say when I, when I start to speed things up, out of the 16 shots, maybe three or four I missed. That's not bad considering, John, I haven't shot consistently for maybe four months. And I'm right. just being honest with you guys, yeah. it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love this thing, man. I would say if you're in the market for something that's concealed, concealable, you should check out the CS. Yeah, no, listen, I agree with him 100%. And guys, I, I agree with him more because my first Staccato was the C2. Mm -hmm. And I purposely bought the C2 because I wanted the double stack capacity, yeah. but I wanted a smaller frame that I could conceal easier. The C2 is still a little bit bigger than this, right? A little bit more bulky, and you can kind of see from my shirt here, maybe not from this angle, but from the side, you can definitely see a, a slight protrusion yeah. because I'm a slim guy, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a slim guy, so you can see any, any type of extra whatever I have on me. So with that said, but this, the CS is just, it's so compact, yes. but it works. It works. And it, it still, it fills up the hand nicely. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it just, it fits. This whole thing is a solid, solid package. And what Sean was saying about the recoil, right? So they changed the recoil assembly in this, the recoil spring assembly. Mm -hmm. It's not the same like the recoil master. And basically, if you would notice when you shoot this thing, it, it returns to zero very quickly, right? Whereas the other spring was more springy. So giving that spring, it's like you have a little rock with it and it might take a little more time to return back to zero. This on the other hand, just returns back to zero yeah, quickly. Period. So, so that coupled with the pot with the grip, yeah. I mean, you're talking about the perfect reduction mm -hmm. of energy overall. So coupled yeah. with when we talked about that, remember Sean Armstrong, uh, Staccato's master gunsmith, sort of explained to us mm -hmm. the reason why they had the polymer grip because that it sort of diffuses the energy. Yeah. And so when you incorporate that into this new spring module that John is talking about, mm -hmm. John, I feel like they have really sort of created the perfect concealed gun. Oh, a hundred percent. Um, because I mean, this is about the same size as my previous everyday carry, which was the P365XL. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and before that it was the C2, but I was just kind 
kind of struggling with that because again, I just it's just the P, so yeah, 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 you know, yeah, you know the terms wear bigger jeans. Than me, I guess I don't, know. <laughs> but um, I, you know, and I, I go for comfort. Comfort is a big thing to me. I don't want to be adjusting the way that I walk or the way that I sit or the way that I stand when I'm concealed because I just don't want to call attention to it. Yeah. So this has really kind of answered the mail for me specifically. Um, there's a couple of different things on here though that. Charm, did you notice that this is the first Takato to have, well, the first that we've owned mm -hmm. that has an external extractor? And if you notice, like, like this isn't here you know, on any of the it's other not. Staccatos. And, and I actually did because not it, notice that. Because it's an internal extractor. Yeah. So they put this, an external extractor, to increase the reliability. Have you taken yours apart yet? I have not taken yeah. it fully apart. I mean, I broke it, it down to clean it, but I didn't take it fully apart, fully apart yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, another thing hmm. is right across here where the mag. Uh, I'm sorry, the slide lock is, mm -hmm. right? This little divot on this side used to be round and you could feel it. But now it's flush. That's true, it's, it's flush. Just flush. Yeah. And the reason why they did that was because, I guess depending on if you're a right-handed or left-handed shooter or how you apply grip, that you could push this in and it would cause Were people out. actually doing that? They were actually, oh, wow. it, it actually happened. Okay. So that was wow. one of the things they wanted to mitigate. And um, I'm sure it probably also had something to do with some, maybe some of the holsters that was being used or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I did, that was one of the first things because when I went to take it down to clean it, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, this is different. Yeah, I need to get something to poke this in with. Yeah. So, so that was an interesting uh, change, but it's definitely smoother. Yeah, and one of the other things that I really like is the chamfering of the barrel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, at that first, was really unique when, when I first saw that in and Texas. I, I, yeah, I've always liked that. And usually it's because like a brand of gunsmithing or whatever, they, they'll put their name here or a logo or something. Mm -hmm. But this is this is actually more utilitarian than it was for, uh, for aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Because what it does is, is it allows that little bit of space during that recoil. Mm -hmm. The carbon mm -hmm. that builds up on the barrel hood, obviously it has somewhere to go now. Yeah, I, I, you know, I wonder how much, and I'm being honest, how much of a difference that makes, but perhaps, you know, when they calculated this, mm -hmm. it makes a difference. Anytime you start shaving stuff off, right. we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. it reduces rate, it, it, weight, rather. And some mm -hmm. people may say, well, look, it's zero point, 2% of an ounce, whatever the case may be. Yeah. That still matters. When you oh, start adding up it, all of those things in That's what I'm about to say. When you start to compound them all together, those small adjustments make a pretty big sizable difference. Um, and yeah, lastly, man, my flat trigger. I love the, yeah, flat, trigger the flat trigger on this yeah. thing. And it's just something about a flat trigger. It, it feels much a much more straight back pull. Period. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very nice. And it also it feels like it has um, when you when you go to return it back, mm -hmm. the return is shorter too. So uh, you have to play around with it to see. But uh, but yeah, it's nice, man. Listen, did you make adjustments to your trigger? I have not yet. Mm -hmm. I have not yet. And you know, I don't Probably know that I will. Th to be honest, this is the first Takato that I've ever gotten, guys. That I really don't necessarily feel compelled to do a lot of changes to. I mean, it's I a like solid it. package as is. Got that new tech uh, grip mm -hmm. um, texture on it. I mean, I do want to put a, a magwell on though. Mm. I do want that. Yeah, I gotta yeah. start practicing again, guys. Let me tell you today. <laughs> woo! You can oh tell yeah, it's yeah. Been a while. So look, that was that's that first reload you did talking. <laughs> you want a magwell to God? Damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> it was the finish for me. It was the finish. <laughs> oh my God. Man, yeah. it's, it's been a while, guys. But we've been doing some really crazy cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But look, overall, I will say this. Staccato, they didn't reinvent the wheel here. Nope. Concealed pistols have been around for a very long time. Mm -hmm. What Staccato has been able to successfully accomplish with this build mm -hmm. is something that is comfortable, mm -hmm. something that is reliable, and something that is absolutely accurate every single yeah. time. Yeah. And that's what's most important here because if you ever find yourself in one of those scenarios where you have to defend yourself and you have to take multiple shots, John, mm -hmm. you wanna know that that pistol is returning to zero for the accuracy of those shots because we are responsible for every single round. Mm -hmm. With this pistol and proper training, of course, I think you're comfortable with that. No, 100%. And the reliability is always going to be there. I personally know one of the test shooters of the CS mm -hmm. put 28,000 rounds wow. through his CS wow. and literally only cleaned that thing once. One time. One time. And he just kept working. One time. Because there's other things that are in the internals here. Um, some of the... Uh, I guess some of the rails that are inside. A little different. When, when you slide the slide onto the frame, mm -hmm. the rails are extended and there's little, there's like a little slit in between the rail mm -hmm. that is used to catch debris and oh, to like hold um, lubrication. 
So therefore your gun can stay lubed over mm -hmm. periods of time mm -hmm. without having to go back in there and do any massive cleaning. So I think they really thought of everything in yeah. a concealed carry package with this. Same, like it says, same, what is it? How does it go again? It's on, yeah, it's I don't, on I don't, you I don't, know the thing. It's same like same staccato, staccato different just size, smaller. I don't know. <laughs> same staccato, don't know. just smaller. That's exactly what Something it is. Something like that. Yeah. But the point is, it's the same different sizes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you same wasn't, thing. Not I mean, <laughs> Apple, tomato, tomato. <laughs> but yeah. um, guys, this is, this is a great pistol. We yeah. highly recommend it. Check it out, man. I yeah. think you guys will really like it. Staccato CS, man. Let's go. And get some.